Hello, I'm Kelly, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to explain to you what isolation and quarantine mean, why they are important, and how you can actively help protect your family and your community from diseases. The words isolation and quarantine once struck fear into the hearts of those who heard them. Many people may still feel afraid today, but isolation and quarantine are actually proven methods for protecting public health. We know that germs are all around us, viruses that cause the common cold and the flu, bacteria that cause foodborne illness, and organisms that can cause diarrhea. Every day, our local public health department and its partners in the healthcare community fight to protect you and me from these germs and the diseases they cause. Health department staff inspect food establishments, water, swimming pools, and hotels to be sure they are clean and safe. They give immunizations that protect us against diseases, and they work hard to stop or slow down the spread of communicable diseases. Hello, Good morning. Good morning. how are you today? Wonderful, how are you today? Good, my name's Diana. That is, diseases that are spread from person to person. One of the best ways to keep diseases from spreading is to keep sick people separate from healthy people. This is called isolation. Health departments commonly use isolation. They ask tuberculosis patients to stay home so they won't spread TB. They tell food service workers to stay home from work until they no longer have diarrhea. When these sick people are isolated, they reduce the risk of spreading disease. Communicable diseases are spread in many ways. They can be spread when a sick person coughs or sneezes <coughs> on another person. They can also be spread when a sick person coughs on his hand and then touches a common surface like a doorknob or a telephone, leaving behind germs for another person to pick up. Communicable diseases can be spread through saliva, such as when two people kiss or share a drink or a toothbrush. And they can also be spread when blood or body fluids are exchanged. When you are sick and you isolate yourself at home, you help public health protect our community by reducing your risk of contaminating someone else. While you are sick and isolated at home, your family members may need to be quarantined. Many diseases leave a person contagious before they even feel or look sick. This means the person may already be sick but is not coughing and doesn't have a fever. By quarantining themselves, they will also help protect our community. Quarantine means a person who has been exposed to an illness but is not yet sick stays home for a number of days to keep them from spreading the germs they may already be carrying. <coughs> there is also a chance you will spread disease to family members, so it's important to follow simple steps to be sure your family will stay healthy. Always cover your cough or sneeze with a tissue or with the crook of your elbow. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water and encourage family members to do the same. Clean common surfaces like telephones, faucets, and doorknobs to kill any germs lingering there. Don't share personal items like toothbrushes, silverware, or drinking glasses. Because diseases are different, your health care provider will tell you and your family how many days to stay in isolation or quarantine. While you are in isolation or quarantine, it's very important that you do not go out in public. Contact your employer and explain to them how important it is that you remain at home. If you need groceries, medication, or other supplies, call a friend and ask them to deliver the items to your door. If you need to visit your health care provider, call ahead to let them know you are coming so they can make arrangements for you to visit without spreading your germs to other people. Staying emotionally attached is especially important while you're in isolation or quarantine. Contact your religious leader, friends, or members of your social groups to discover ways you can stay connected while remaining in your home. Your life may be inconvenient for a few days while you're in isolation or quarantine, but the good you can do by protecting our community will last far longer. I urge you to be part of the solution by isolating or quarantining yourself voluntarily today. You will make a difference.